Assalamualaikum and good day student Welcome back to the uh, distance learning for mechanic of machine We will focus on chapter 4 Basically uh, on the topic of friction Where you already uh, taken on the previous uh, semester uh, On the subject of uh, static and dynamic However, we will do some uh, revision a bit So what is a uh, friction force actually? Friction Friction is a resistant force acting on a body which prevents or retards slipping of the body relative to second body. So as a simple uh, example over here, a boy is pushing a box to the right hand side. But of course, uh, that is a friction coefficient of friction between box and floor over here. Then it will create a resist resistant force acting to the left hand side. Um, the idea of uh, this topic basically we will go through on the theory where we will look into the angle of friction uh, static friction and kinetic friction we will not look into the uh, fluid type of friction we will focus on the dry type of friction this, this one will be a uh, fluid friction will be covered on the another subject on the application side we will focus on the screw and nut and clutch um, okay this is the uh, picture of where we are no, we, we, we need to avoid friction uh, friction is not it's not uh, it's not important to the system so if you are looking into this this one so better to have a wheel to to move to locate the boxes from one point to another point Whereas on, on this one, this is the shaft, a rotating shaft. So better to have a, a, this is a bearing actually. Better to have bearing to ensure that there is a smooth a rotation on this, uh, between the shaft and the, this is a block, pillow block, let's say. Not enough to have the uh, bearing, so you need to apply the lubricant. Lubricant, uh, you need to, to do a proper lubricating at the uh, contact surfaces so whenever you you apply a very good uh, lubrication at the system so you can avoid the friction and your machinery will run uh, smoothly but on the other side on the other side or on the other mechanism or machine you need to have the friction itself to ensure that the system is in a uh, properly function uh, taken into a consideration let's say this is the example of a uh, brake on the bicycle this is the matches this is the tire and road where you need a uh, friction uh, to ensure that the system is in uh, function properly same applied to clutches and nut so clutches and nut we will uh, look into it later so how is how is the importance of a uh, friction that uh, to to ensure that the system in is is properly functioning. Uh, theory of dry friction. So just now we we have looked already, but uh, okay, the guy is pushing to the right hand side. Then of course there is a frictional force acting to the left hand side, and then uh, I I'm sure that you already familiar with this uh, graph. Uh, whenever the external forces is being applied to the box so if the external forces is increased at a certain time so the frictional force also increase until there is a limit where we call it the uh, maximum frictional force so by the time the, the guy or the boy is uh, giving uh, extra uh, external force so the create crate or box is start moving to the right hand side but anyhow when when the box is start uh, in the state of motion so the uh, kinetic friction we call it a kinetic friction will a bit drop from the maximum uh, frictional uh, forces doesn't matter how much we apply on the external forces by the time it's moved so the frictional force will will the frictional force kinetic frictional force will maintain so this is the formula of a uh, frictional force. So this is the coefficient of friction, Fm, frictional force, uh, maximum frictional force. 
is equal to uh, coefficient of uh, friction static times uh, normal normal force of the uh, crate or box or whatever and then this is the uh, formula of uh, frictional force kinetic frictional force so you have to is equal uh, is equal to mu k this is the kinetic coefficient of friction times uh, normal force in the in equilibrium system the total force are where we in stated in in equilibrium system where the box is in in not in motion mode so the total force at uh, x axis and y axis is equal to zero what about the angle of friction um, tangent theta s is actually uh, mu s where mu s is the coefficient of friction static so how you can uh, how you get this 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 formula actually so the idea is uh, if let's say there is a crate over here and then we tilt a bit the the this is the some sort like the experiment that have been done on the dynamic uh, labs so we tilt a bit on the uh, this is the floor so we tilt a bit until certain point when the uh, degree is enough uh, so the box will start moving downwards the box start moving downwards and this is the uh, forces uh, acting forces perpendicular to the uh, plane perpendicular to the plane so by the time box moving downward so the frictional force will acting opposite direction of the movement so as you know from the uh, force over here W sin theta is equal to FR and then uh, W sin theta is equal to mu N because FR is equal to mu N then W sin theta is equal to mu because N is actually this is N so this is omega uh, w cos theta so we replace n to w cos theta rearrange back the equation so you will get tangent theta is actually mu so this is representing the earliest equation okay what is the law of drive friction uh, maximum static friction force fs and kinetic friction force fk are actually proportional to normal force and dependent on type of condition of contact surfaces the roughness of the uh, contact surfaces but uh, independent of contact area so this is uh, two scenario over here a and b so which one will give higher friction force the one with a uh, stack boxes or B condition so actually the idea is both have the same friction force because it independent of contact surface doesn't matter what is the contact surface area so it will have the same uh, friction force because this is two box two box this one also two box with the same weight this is the approximate value of coefficient of static friction of dry surfaces if you look into this one metal on metal is a 0 0.5 roughly is 0 0.15 to 0 0.6 compared to the rubber on concrete which is a 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 of course if you want to push rubber on a concrete it's much uh, difficult compared to the metal on metal so thank you very much until we meet on the video number two